Welcome again to the His Mini Show. Today, we're going to talk about the meaning of life. You know, right, the meaning of life is to get famous on social media. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. My cousin played with a kitten once, and the video went viral. Hmm. Well, the meaning of life, to me, you know, is just to help people. Hiss! Why would you want to do that? Be mean to people. That's my motto. Like, dude, no, like, the meaning of life is, like, a total mystery to me, you know? Oh, man. I like to read a good mystery. It makes me scared. Hmm. Well, I think the meaning of life is to sleep in a comfortable bed. Mm. And I like to sleep in the shade under a rock. Like, you know what? I think, like, the true meaning of life is to, like, find my true calling, you know? Yeah. I always hear my mother calling me. Yes! You're all missing the true meaning of life! I'm, like, confused here. I, I need some time to think about the meaning of life, you know? I just I need some time. Look up meaning in the dictionary, you silly people. You know what? I'm tired of this. And I don't have a dictionary. Well, this is the end of today's show. And my guests have no clue about the meaning of life. Or anything else, as far as I can see. Like, my meaning of life is to, like, to never be on this show again. I mean, I can be famous on social media, you know? Peace, man. Yeah. Hiss, you idiots! I'm Fido. I'm Rover. This, this is Gone, Gone to, to the, the dogs. dogs. Did you see the couple that moved in next door? They have a funny looking dog. That dog. He has a long tail and funny whiskers and chases birds. We chase birds, among other things. Yeah, but we don't go up the tree after them. It chases mice, too. Huh. You know, I've never thought about chasing mice. Is it fun? We should try it sometime. What if we chase that strange dog, too? What if it chases us back? Well, then we'll run through our doggy doors, and our mommies will protect us. You're pretty smart for a dumb animal. You're pretty dumb for a smart animal. You take that back. Make me. Uh, 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 go get it, go get it, go get it. Hurry, oh, faster, 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 faster. Uh... I'm sorry, I can't come to the phone right now. I am all tied up. I like Easter. Because I like to eat chocolate bunnies. And pull off their ears. I like New Year's Eve because I can stay up late till nit man, man. What? Okay, say my line again. I like New Year's Eve because I can stay up late until midnight and steal my sister's chocolates. But don't tell I said that. I like St. Patrick's Day because I get to wear my green pants. But I'm going to wear them tomorrow. Hi, me? Oh, hey, I like the 4th of July. <laughs> you know why? Because I get to see the whole sky just light up. Boop, pa, 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 pa. It's wonderful. Love it. Well, I like Christmas because I get a lot of presents. I like Halloween because I get to scare people. <laughs> Boo. Oh! <laughs> I like Valentine's Day because I get love notes. You wish. I like President's Day because I get to learn about all the presidents. I like Barbecue Day. Barbecue? What, what is Barbecue Day? 
that's any day that I don't have to go to work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> oh, I want a treehouse. I want a treehouse where I can bring all my friends over and we can have wild parties all the time. I can't. Why not? You never give me what I want. Oh, ho, ho. Then, then I want a hot air balloon. I could take it anywhere I want to go. It's too big. Why can't I have it? I don't ask for much. I'm a good girl, but you don't love me. <laughs> How about a pig? I heard they are very, very smart, and he could sleep at the foot of my bed. No? Why not? I never get what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna run away and go to a farm and they'll let me do anything I want any time of the day. <laughs> I'm so unhappy. <laughs> I gotta talk about the tail. Hey, Flucky, I thought you left. Well, uh, I came back. Oh, did you miss me? Well, you know, I tried to, but every time I thought of you in that silly bird suit, well, I regurgitated my worms. Oh, that would hurt my feelings if I knew what re re regurgitated meant. Bur uh, burp? Well, uh, my therapist says I need to be more honest with people. Oh, you seen a therapist or a lawyer? Nah, therapist, silly, ever since I met you. Oh, I think I better come back when you're in a better mood. Uh, I'll be in a better mood, all right, if you don't come back at all. Now, that's what my lawyer said. I, I joined the Democrat Party. I'll pray for you. Silly guy, I'm going back to Halama. Aw, oh, go figure. Yeah, since the orca saved us, we should save the whales. Yar, Skelly, you bonehead. Are you daft? Pirates don't save whales. We, we find buried treasure. Public access TV just isn't what it used to be. I dropped my ice cream. It wasn't cheap either. So, like, is this the way to the mall? I can definitely do better than this. May I help you? I want to be a TV star. Oh, okay. Wow, they'll let anybody in here. Here are the keys to the studio. Lock up when you leave. You really don't know who you're talking to, do you? Hello. For the next hour, I'm going to talk about myself because I'm a very interesting person. Next week, I'll entertain you with armpit noises. Phones are ringing off the hook. You're the most popular person on TV. Public access TV sensation Ralph Ryder has just signed a mega money deal. Another bubbly master rider? Why yes, Jeeves. I think I shall. Good morning, Mr. Ryder. You have 40,000 messages, most of them marriage proposals. Send them all autographed pictures. Is the studio open? I'd like to do my second show. Mr. Ryder, we're the IRS and we want our tax money. We want a divorce and half of your money. We want a divorce and half of your money. We want a divorce.
divorce and half of your money. We want a divorce and half of your money. Well, I suppose you'll cancel my show now that I'm a public disgrace. Oh, no. This is Public Access TV. We let anybody do a show no matter what. Here are the keys. Be sure to lock up when you leave. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I'll be doggone. Because of all your many violations of the law and decency, you are being sentenced to work in the cheese mines. I thought cheese came from cows. Why, no. Cows have much better things to do. Cheese comes from a mine. Bailiff, take this lowlife down to the mine. Oh, what's that smell? You're passing through the blue cheese ore. Oh, I can't stand blue cheese. Well, the cheddar ore is up ahead. There's every kind of cheese found down here. Oh, so we can bring a bologna sandwich and slice some cheese and put it on it. No! The prisoners are not allowed to eat the cheese. Hey, say cheese! <laughs> are these the kind of people I'm going to have to work with every day? They have a wonderful sense of humor. Hey, there's holes in this cheese layer. Must be Swiss. Yes, we have to watch for mice that come down and climb in the holes and then eat it. After the Swiss is the Gouda. Does that mean we'll have a Gouda time down here? Are these the kind of people I'm going to have to work with every day? Here we are! What are they mining? Green cheese. Here's your equipment. Hey, you there. You're making the slices too big. <gasps> hmm. <laughs> Cheese miners aren't very smart. I'm making millet with my mallet. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's right. Well, see, there's this guy, right? He's on the verge of creating an alternative energy machine. That's right. Yeah, alternative. Okay, I know, I know. He's going to put us big oil guys right out of business. I, well, what? Oh, okay, okay. I got. Okay, you want me to go talk to the rep in the field? All right. I know he's tough. Okay, I'll go do that right away. Okay, you can count on me. Hey there, uh, Big Oil sent me here to talk to you. Yeah, I heard about that, and I've been waiting for you. So what's up? There's this guy, see, he's building like an alternative energy machine. I, I'm afraid he's going to put us out of business. Does he wear a yellow hard hat? Why, yes, he does. And, and does he wear a blue jumpsuit? That's the guy. <laughs> that guy's an idiot. No, no, I, I've seen his machine. Yeah, well, you're an idiot for believing that that guy's contraption is going to put us out of business. I, I, I don't have to take this. Look, I, I, I'm on your side. Yeah, and no wonder gas prices are going down. Hey, I, I resent that. I'm offended. 
Well then go play with your toy trucks and cars and get out of here. You make me sick. I don't need to take this. I, I don't need you. Yeah, well, you will when you need to fill up your gas tank. Ha ha ha! Amateurs. Ah, I'm working with amateurs. Man, college sucks. I don't have my mom here to do my laundry. Young man! My gosh! This machine is taken! I was here first! I'm going back home. As well you should! Uh, pardon me, uh, lady. Is that uh, is this uh, is that seat taken over there on the uh, park bench? Uh, yeah, that that seat right there is that taken? Does it look like it's taken? I'm I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm inside this little teeny globular thing. We just came from uh, Ramesses X3. It's way outside your universe here. You can see I'm under a horrible uh, thing here. Ah! <laughs> zap, zap. Oh, that? good, it works. Increase the zapping mode. We want that. Ah! Increase men. the zapping mode. Even men from Mars are all the same. Hello, and welcome to Granny Kate's Kitchen. Today we're going to make licorice stew. First, you peel the licorice. Oh, this is a banana, dear me. I must have misplaced the licorice. Oh, well, I guess that's the end of the show for today. Goodbye. <laughs>